Hey, Seljuk's going quite strong right now. There's a couple of things that we need to get cleaned up, at least for the coming missions. This one here, we're just going to have to attack into Transoxiana, who is allied, who is a tributary, rather, of Yuan, who is extremely powerful. Yuan is uh, about to form the Celestial Empire, actually, which is going to be a problem because they're going to be absolutely massive. Luckily for us, our uh, army is a buzzsaw, and we should be able to roll through them on decent terrain as long as I play it smart. Uh, but that should be pretty straightforward. All we need to do is take some land from them, take some land from them. Should be able to do both of them in one war. No problem. Now, as far as over here, uh, dominate the Maghreb. I did not realize somehow, some reason, these islands over here are considered part of the Maghreb. These are owned by Albion. So we're going to have to go to war with Albion here, uh, as well as Andalusia. We'll be able to, we'll have to take that. Now, what I can probably do is, uh, I can holy war the, or I can not holy war, but, uh, shoot. How far off am I from, uh, Mm, it's 23, right? Nah, so we're not even close. Unfortunate. It's fine. It's whatever. Let's go ahead and take that tech there. We have a uh, furnaces unlocked, really. Now, I don't think we're going to get um, any coal anytime soon, right? How does this work? Enlightenment, right. We need enlightenment to be present, and it needs at least 20 development. Or have at least 20 innovativeness. Oh, okay. I d actually didn't know there was the innovativeness requirement. How much do we have? Lots. We have lots. So that's good. Good numbers. Our overextension is dangerously high. So all is well. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So yes, I have my armies over here. We have a nice long truce of these guys. I suppose there's no time quite like the present to uh, push this attack here. So let's go ahead and attack these guys for like Harat here. Oh, Harat is mine. Let's go for this guru whatever. Shoot. Do they have cores over here? They do not. Okay. This is fine. So let's go ahead and attack them. I'm honestly just going to ignore Yuan, and as Yuan comes into my land, I will meet them there. Uh, I don't intend to actually, like, do much fighting with them, to be honest with you. So let's get you guys over here. Let's get you guys over here. And then get these guys over here. These guys over here. These guys over here. And uh, they don't have much of an army. And so, yep, we're just going to siege down their forts. We have an extra mer uh, merchant as well. I was looking around. Maybe we could try collecting from over here. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot for us. We could like trade company this stuff over here. I stated this up, but I think instead of doing that, I'm, I do want to uh, trade company this because this will allow us to get quite a bit of extra trade power in this area. And we should be able to collect a bunch. And we might actually be able to get an extra merchant here from this area pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually quite a good bit of money. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Our economic hegemony is... Uh, uh, bussin as the kids say on god on god so yeah we're doing okay we're doing okay we've got our absolutism maxed out as well now who else is in bhutan that's cool i feel like you don't see bhutan very often where's bhutan at aren't they like over here oh they are here hey usually you see them in hoi four Siber, who doesn't mean anything yep and uh yeah that's it so this is easy we don't even have to really worry about anybody coming from India. So I'll just keep these guys suppressing over here. Just, you know, covering up our, uh, covering our footsteps, making sure that we are not going to be too, um, too loose with our, with our, uh, placement. Get you guys over here and get you guys onto here. And I'll give that to Hishin Kaifa, my little, my little zit here. So apparently, uh, somebody had said that in Arabic, I assume, Hishin means fort. So it's Fort Kaifa. Um, and then I use them for my forts. So it's like poetic in a way, you know? I um, I don't know how true that is. If it is true, make sure you leave a comment and let me know. Because I think that's hilarious, if true. Uh-huh. So we're just going to have these guys come here. And have you guys spread out over here. Win some forts. I mean, at the end of the day, all I'm taking is this. Though you have to remember, this is like all of their development. <laughs> 34 development. Goodness gracious. Eight. 17, what do we got here? Five, so quite a bit of development that I plan to take in this war, but that's okay. I also don't care. So these guys will siege that fort down here. My boy is dead. Look what they did to my boy. We've got Ahmed here. Morale of army is very solid. Also, I was looking over here. Let's, we want to upgrade this guy here. Oh, it's Shia. Oh, right. No, no, no. I'm thinking this one here, the spiral minaret uh, will give us yearly prestige, which is fine. But more importantly, plus three, three missionary strength that is really strong that's like you don't see many plus threes in this game for uh, missionary strength here we go just like that 
and I can convert anything and everything we need to, which we don't really need to because everything we're taking over is Sunni, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's get you guys over here. Get these guys over here. We've won the Siege of Kish. Get you guys over here. Give a Tahitian Kaifa. Uh, adopt the title of Khalifa and denouncement of sect practices. No more sex practices here. Let's go with legalism, please, and thank you. Who is sieging me down? Oh, they're doing this thing again. Where they loop around through cum mania. I think that's very funny that they... And they keep doing this. Like, this is not the first time that this has happened. And they stack up a bunch of men over here on these forts. Alright, man. I guess we'll just have to bring our army over. It's fine. I mean, this isn't... This is hardly an inconvenience. Let's have you guys head over here. And then let's uh, get these guys carpet siege down. And uh, yeah, now we're just going to have to wait it out because clearly Yuan is going to be problematic for us. There's not getting, getting around that. They're going to be annoying. Uh, mostly just because they are so dang big that they are going to give them a decent chunk of, um, you know, missionary or whatever. St relative strength of alliances is the name of the modifier. So there's not really much I can do about it. All right. Pious Sun, 5520022. So what is this? 12 points versus 12 points. Which would I rather favor? Um, I don't know, man. Suppose I favor the Diplo. Now let's go with you. Uh, Masood sounds good. We've, we've got lots of Masoods this time around. All right, let's see here. How many do we have to convert here? 10 provinces. I will happily convert provinces in Samarkand. Let's get you guys over here, split you guys in like stacks of 18. Let's have you guys, ooh, half off trade efficiency guy. I think I would rather have that. Let's go ahead and take them and then get them upgraded all the way to level five. And these forts are done. Transoxiana is all the way into Northern India. That's kind of crazy. So what we need to do now is start working into Yuan's land. They passed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they have the celestial reforms done. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means they're going to be allowed to form the celestial empire. Like as soon as they're not at peace anymore. I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I'm a little excited to see how it works as well. All right. So these guys over here are just going to be chilling. So uh, I think we're good there. We're no longer allowed to blunt or to um, what's the word I'm looking for embargo these guys. So let's not do that. Let's have you guys come on over here, and then these guys will just defend over here. Yep, this is fine. I will happily fight these guys. Let's make sure we got our best general on them. Three-star general. All right, these guys are coming over here. This is mountain, so I got to be smart about this. But like this engagement here, I'm fine with. Oh, this is a fort. What am I doing? Yes, yes, yes. I definitely want this fight here. Shoot, am I losing this? Looks like I'm losing that fight there. I am. Okay, let's pull back there. They probably have like unlimited manpower. Um, we actually have way more than they do. Believe it or not. So let's pull these guys over here. They lost that fort there. Oh shoot, man. Are you serious? Yikes. Alright, let's scorch this province here. Yeah. That's not ideal. I would like to flee. Thank you. Yeah, they got some big armies. All right, we're going to have to get our big old doom stack. So let's get you guys over there. Uh, I guess I'll gain some inflation. What the heck? <laughs> like 13 grand. Is that what that said? Let's get our inflation down a bit. No big deal. So these guys over here. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like these guys are probably in trouble. No general or anything either. Yikes. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's 100,000 men running through there. Now let's uh, flee as soon as we can. There you go. Goodness gracious. They lost, like, all their infantry. Feels real bad, man. Let's have these guys head over here, grouped up. They got good siege abilities as well. Look at this, dude. All right, you on. Not messing around. I respect it. I respect it. These guys are probably going to win that for it. Yep, that's fine. I should be able to absolutely clap their cheeks right now. Very good. Lots of loss for them. These guys are fleeing over here. Now, these guys are standing on a mountain province, so they're safe for now. But, uh, yeah. Damn. 
That's no joke, man. That's no joke. Truce of these guys is going to be up soon as well, which is unfortunate because they could totally join my coalition. I don't think it'll form actually, but that's painful. All right. So if we wanted to peace out, okay. Siberia wants out. That's fine with me. Now, I suppose what I do is I just scorch this fort here. Give that to Hiss and Kaifa. Have these guys do like 50-50. Bait them into the fort. And then just crush them. You know, that's kind of how we do this here. And let's have these guys shift consolidate. Head up here. Get this 50 stack out. Shift consolidate now. Oh, that's good. That's some, them some good numbers. All right. Now, if these guys want to head on over here, this is fine. Because we have some decent like forts over this way. Now, I should probably build some ramparts over here. It's not something I generally recommend, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's see here. We don't have a manufacturer here, so let's just get rid of this courthouse, build the ramparts there. And same thing here, get rid of that and build the ramparts there. So what that does is it gives extra fish, extra attrition as well as defensiveness. And all three of these forts, well, these two forts are defensive. I should probably have another fort like right here. So I'm going to actually get that queued up there. Come on, man. Come on, man. Build that there. Now it'll be useful. Now, I suppose I should just track down this 53 stack with them. Let's see here. Now, if I wanted to, let's see how much we need for one. So let's take everything we have claims on. So 46, uh, 49 war score. That's actually not too far off. We have the ticking war score, remember. So this is reasonable, actually. We will be able to do this, no problem. Uh, especially as their war exhaustion goes up, as we continue to pop some of their allies. Yep, this is fine. Come on over. Stand on my fort. Be my guest. We are about to max out on mill mana. So you know the drill, guys. We're going to click the buttons. Click the buttons to develop. Especially considering that I'm like 12 years ahead of time on tech. There's no reason not to. There we go. Look at that, gaining 5,600 manpower per month. Isn't that actually insane? Okay, cool. So now you can see these guys heading into Kashgar. They'll be there on the 18th, and we can pull these guys in. We will be there around the same date. So let's get our armies in there. We will absolutely uh, not win. Are you... Yikes. <laughs> we just got absolutely clapped. What the heck? Okay, man. Those guys are coming in this way. These guys are... Dude, fix your game. Paradox, why would you ever do that? Why would they flee like that, man? Oh, pisses me off so much that the AI is like, you know what? I think I will flee for a couple, you know, a thousand miles. No, That makes no sense, dude. There's no reason they should do that. It makes no sense at all. Nope, I do not, do not want my guy to flee there. Both of these forts are mountains and are defensive, and they're both going very quickly for them, which is annoying. Okay, let's get those guys grouped up over here. Sicily is raiding me because they're sons with guns. Okay, let's have these guys head back over this way. Yeah, they're going to win a bunch of forts over here. So annoying. Let's, um... Mm, I don't really need any spy network. Yep, and they're taking literally all these mountain forts already. Let's get over there and just, like, sneak it back real quick. There you go. Oh, my gosh. They have so many men, dude. I just can't even comprehend this. They're taking... They're doing some crazy damage. And they're a horde still, actually. Are they? Celestial Empire, no. Artillery combat ability... Celestial Ideas gives them... I don't know what that does. But they have Discipline. Which is helping them as well. I should probably have a Discipline Advisor. Gosh, man. This is crazy. I feel like I'm getting my cheeks clapped by you on. They're no joke, man. They are no joke. Let's see here. Four enemies. So their morale is higher than mine. And their Discipline is lower. Okay. Uh, mourn her for three days. Yes. So, looks like we're just going to... 
What? Why? Oh my. Did they. Did they land men over here and I didn't see it? I am in awe right now. Of what's going on? I am actually in awe right now. Okay. Let's get another army here. This is fine. This is fine. I am actually in awe right now. What in the heck? How did this happen? How did we get to this point? They've taken all of these forts and I didn't even know it. Dang, man. All right, so let's see here. They're on 24, so they're actually not super far off from wanting out. Obviously, we're going to have to let our boys recoup for a little bit. So we're just going to have these guys flee into friendly territory, have them lick their wounds. I uh, should have given these forts over. This is mountains as well. So maybe I lied. Maybe we're going to head back in right now. Nope, just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Truth with, truth with a bunch of people is over. These guys are winning a bunch of sieges, which is very annoying. On the interior of my country. This is crazy, dude. I'm actually just blown away. Yuan being super competent, super useful, losing tons of men to attrition, though. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? They've lost more men to attrition than I've lost almost total. No, that's not true. But they've lost a lot of men to attrition. Let's see how their uh, professionalism is. So they've got a lot. <laughs> so they've got a lot of manpower to spare. That's no joke. All right. Look at this, man. They've got so many men. I'm in. Oh, and they're winning these sieges so fast, bro. Holy crap, lads. <laughs> Look at this. They've got so many men over here. This is crazy. This is actually just nuts. <laughs> All right. Let's pull these guys somewhere to let them continue to recoup a bit. They're basically done. Get another general. Get you over here. Start winning some sieges back. If they want to rot their men over here in the uh, desert, they can be my guest. Uh, I guess that's it. Yep, we're done with those now. We are way ahead of time on tech, so I guess we'll just take the free money and uh, build these guys here and uh, build these guys here and then uh, build these guys here. Very good. I am still just in absolute awe. They don't have a general in here. They don't. Ah, of course, they won the 45 percent, 40 some percent. Let's take that fort back real quick. And let's scorch that province here. Let's refill the garrison. Uh-huh. Ship consolidate. Oh, they decided against it. Very good. This is drylands. But we outnumber them. So we should win this one. I'd be surprised if we didn't. We are still, we are going to lose this. I am so confused, dude. Their army quality is so good, bro. What the heck am I going through here? Boys, I'm having a crisis. We are getting clapped. We are actually getting clapped by the Yuan. I mean, I, I know I'm playing fast, but damn, I'm losing. I've lost like every single battle. It's crazy. Like every single battle that I fought against Yuan specifically, I, I have been absolutely just gutted. <laughs> They're actually see winning sieges in my land. That's crazy, bro. Won the siege of Baghdad. Went in sieges over here. They've or they're winning sieges actually. They're winning siege over here in Herat. Let's uh make sure we got our defensiveness buildings or province things over here. They're gonna take the war gold back. But as soon as they flip to low in a couple of months, I'll be able to white piece them, which will be nice. Right. Um So this is a mountains fort here. Let's get these guys over here, see if we can do that. Right. There is they have such good generals too. Holy smokes, their generals are nuts. I just can't believe this. They're on low enthusiasm, so they should peace out. Very good. A white piece is fine with me. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, what a crazy... Oh, they formed it. They did. They formed the Celestial Empire. So let's see here. Celestial Traditions, Land Force Limit, and uh, Land Maintenance. Holy crap. Prestige Decay, Land Fire Damage 15%, 20% Dev Cost, plus one of each type of Monarch mana per month. 
yearly navy tradition, fire damage received, shock damage received, all power costs and goods produced. Yo, what? That is actually insane. <laughs> the dragon throne is no joke at all, actually. That's crazy, dude. That is insane. Okay, cool. So let's get these guys over here. And uh, now that we've got them out, we can uh, finally take what we want. And I'm only going to take what I need, and I will do nothing else. I don't want to fight you on again if I don't need to. Uh, control Indian trade. So let's see here. I have claims on this. I doubt that I can threaten them for it, but I might be able to. We'll peace out of this war, and then we'll see what we can do. All right. We're winning our sieges back again. It needs to be done. I cannot believe this. Oh, my gosh. These guys are going to occupy a bunch of provinces that I need. Let's have you guys do something like this. Yep. Ugh. No guy's going to take some of my provinces, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I did not realize I had this 75 stack out here. Yo, what the heck? Just been out here taking attrition like an idiot. My bad, lads. Yep, of course. Of course no guy is going to get in on this. I'll no CB them. I will no... Screw you. I'm just going to no CB them. <sighs> Infuriating, dude. Of course, they're, like, putting in the work in this battle here. My boys are getting in there real slow. There we go. All right. And then let's see here. Who else is in this war? Oirat. So let's just have Oirat get pieced out. Just come over here and siege down their capital. Where is your capital at, dudes? What? What? Where is your capital? Here it is. All right. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to at least occupy the provinces that I need in this war, which is all of this and this Bukhara province. Then I'll peace out Transoxiana. Support the hardliners is fine. So now I can take this, which is everything I need. Yes. Very good. I will core it all up. And uh, now... I'll just get onto his capital and peace him out. That's all I need. Right. Let's um let's have these guys grouped up here. These guys all got black flagged. Let's add you guys all there. Add you there, 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 there. There, there, there. Very good. Easy enough, right? Okay. These guys will come over here and get grouped up. And then we will have them assign themselves to that template. And then these guys will come on up to no guy. I've got an extra merchant now. Which I think I had before and I just lost it, right? No. Okay, well let's steer with you. Have I stated all of this up? Not all of it. I could unstate it in trade company if I wanted to. Doesn't really matter to me. Look at these guys over here. Actually just ripping through this <laughs> fort. All right, this is only a level one though, so we should be able to take it in like a, a week or two, right? Should be pretty straightforward. Just win the siege, please. All right. Okay, very good. Have you guys conform to that template here? This 21 stack will head on over and like group up with them. These guys will come on over here. We're going to have to attack Delhi here in a moment. All right, my coalition is formed. Damn it. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Once I get out of this war, I should probably be good. White Ruthenia looking really good as well, actually. Alright, guys. Do you you really should not be interested in this war anymore? I, I'm very annoyed. <laughs> All right, we're about to max out on Diplo, so let's go ahead and uh, spend some Diplo then. There we go. I just need them to be willing to peace out while I occupy a bunch of their land. White piece is fine. Come on now. There we go. You guys are stupid. Stinky poopy duties. 
now here they are. There's my four stacks. Get you guys over here and then like half over here. Extra merchant, army tradition, advisor cost is good. Bribe, bribe, ignore corruption, military is fine. Take sides, admin is fine. Take sides, ignore corruption. Local autonomy, I guess, is fine. Local autonomy. You gotta collect too many of these. Crown lands is fine. All right, there we go. All right. Now, Buddha statues, huh? Right, because I got these guys. We got like the Registan Square, which got nerfed. Stab cost is nice. Awesome enforcing religion through war. Wow, you don't tease me too much. Buddha statues gives us an extra missionary, missionary strength, and idea cost. Eh. That's okay. Prestige for development. Eh. Kaba is war score cost versus other religions, which is useful. I'll go ahead and do that one. And then that is fine. We have so much money. I can't even comprehend this. There we go. And now we just have to be chill for chill for a bit. Have these guys conform to the template. And then let's have them like split right there. Where are we at? Let's get, um, uh, I'm not going to accept Moroccan culture just yet. Probably not necessary. All right, cool. So that was a bit of a doozy of an episode, right? Big war. Um, so now what I need to do is get my coalition to disband. Hmm. It should disband. I would be surprised if it, if it stayed for too long, but now what I need to do is I need to, first of all, let's see if I can threaten them for that. Nope. All right. So we're going to war. <laughs> we're going to go to war with these guys because I plan to take these three provinces from them. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Who you got? Sweden. Really? Let's go for Madeira. And all we need to do is detach, like, you know, a couple of boys over here. Have them get dropped off. And uh, all should be pretty straightforward with that. But we'll do this war in the next one. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and ding the bell. You'll get notified when we upload new videos. If you want to join the Discord, Starbiter, Twitter, you can check them out. Linked in the description. And if you want to support me on my Patreon, you'll get early access to all my Tubert vids, which is a great way to support the channel and also get a little bit of fun stuff in return. But uh, that's all I got for you for today. This is Joey Shoot. I'll catch you guys later.